this is going to be the first start video of the QR50, the little Honda. I've checked the spark plug, cleaned the carb out, cleaned the air filter, new petrol, two struggle goes in there, I don't know how you check it. The kickstart keeps jamming, it's jammed there, but I know it's the cog inside, the springs off, because sometimes it drops. Sometimes it locks, and if you tip the bike that way, it locks. You tip the bike this way, the cog moves forward itself, and it unlocks. So it probably unlock when I tilt it over, but anyway. We're going to get in the yard, see if it starts up. And that's it in the house now. I'm going to be tearing it all down. Get all the panels off. 
up the engine out, get that sub frame off. I've ordered another frame for it because that frame's bent on the front. On both sides. So it must have had a head on, colli head on collision. But this kickstart thing you got. That's the spring. That hook, I think, goes into that turtle. There's no other notches for this, apart from these notches on here and here. So what if? Great, mate. That might be with the kickstart spring scratching there. But I think. Is that you fit all the kickstart in that with this shaft it pulls out. It's got a little washer on the back. Just make sure I don't lose it. It's it there. I think you put all that in first into there. Tighten the kickstart up. And I think. I think there was part of the spring, that part of the spring I should say either rests on that or that to keep it up, that the bottom bit of that for tension, because there's no other way, I've been thinking about it all day. Anyway, let's put that little washer onto the back of there, let's drop it off, but it can't go away. So I'm going to take the seat off that back panel tank it'll be easy to get into just I'm not going to take the cables off what I tied up and the coil or whatever's underneath the tank and wherever else is there it'll all be wrapped up special way I'll leave that on until I get the new frame but we'll get the top end off anyway get the sub frame off and we'll drop the engine as well on this side before I take all what I've just said I was going to take off I've just showed that there was a little washer behind the kickstart shaft on here it's a big washer Not that big big cog there can go on two ways Find the manual for this one because fixed bikes but like if you got this in bits you would think what's that where's that go stuff like that sometimes manuals are handy just make sure there's nothing on the back of there it's just a circle clip I just might take the clutch off as well we'll take the clutch off now I've got the clutch hold on tool on I'll show the two holes it's slotted into once it comes off. And it might need pulled off that actually. Just put the nut back on there and I'll get a puller. So when I get a puller the manual comes which will be in a day or two we'll just still start taking bits off that's the back end off which goes off by them two bolts if you ever strip anything wherever you take a bolt from put it back in then you're not left with loads of different size bolts at the end right now we'll get the tank off the new mud guards are 125 pound brand new and we ordered one of them as well which is far too dear but what can you do so anyway, we'll start stripping all this. It hasn't got the proper... That's a run button. It should have the on and run button there. So I'll be getting the proper throttle as well for it. And just bits and bobs, really. And that's the tank off. There's only one pole holder on there. It's got this rubber collar there. Which is damaged. So I'll be ordering another one of them as well. Next, I'm going to get the exhaust off because if the exhaust rusty, I'll sell it over to my mate Jeff's. 
You've done a good job on this, yeah, the list. So next we're going to get a bit of exhaust off. I think there's two 10 millis underneath there, on each side. And when it's coming up here, I think that one's keeping it holding in as well. That one might be as well, behind there. And that one. So we'll take all them off anyway. And just remember to put this balls back into the holes. So that's the two mellies out the front. There and there. Are they there somewhere? One's a bolt, one's a nut. So I've took the two ten millies out the front. I've sat on that one now. And that one. Is it eight milli on there? We'll take this off. But I think the exhaust will come off without taking that casing off. But we'll take that casing off next. So pull that off. Just remember to put it back in. It doesn't look like the original bolt anyway. That's that one out there. And we'll get that eight milli bolt out of there. Let's see if the exhaust slides through. That's bolt in the bottom of the flywheel casing. And actually the exhaust was just stuck on the front. So when I fold it. I don't know if it fits through, but it's come off at the front. That's the exhaust off. Spot in what come out, so that's all the balls. Spot in the two studs are in the exhaust as well. That one and that one. So, what to do next because I need to keep the frame intact. Let me disconnect the cob, disconnect the back shutter, front subframe that bit of the subframe that just goes to the peg. Put the view bolt underneath, but I think it's just that one as far as I remember, and that one, and the engine will drop out. So we'll get the engine out next. Just notice this as well. I've just pulled it out of here, it's up there. I pulled it over to here, but look at the kink in it. When that's been pushed over there, it wouldn't mean not mean getting very much pep. So we'll get the airbox out now. Looks like that's one of them bolts. And there's probably one on the other side, but we'll get this one out first. And just that one bolt holded it on by the looks of things, because it's all slack. Looks like it'll just pop off. Let's see if I can get it off. It doesn't seem to be connected or anything. See a box out. I'll put that screw back in there. Even though that's not the proper screw, I'll be buying all proper Honda screws for this. Like what I've got for the front end, the eight millis all the way around. But there's the air box off. We'll clean that. I'll just get a picture of how the cables root. engine shortly. We'll see how the cables route round this end. I don't think hopefully I don't need to touch them. Just this big bolt. This big bolt. This bulk will cap off. Get the cob off. And the oil pump as well. Wait, I'll just loosen the oil pump from that cable there. And then it'll all just drop. So we'll get all this slapped up now. That's the old pump name out now. Now we'll go around with the cob. So we'll get the slide out the cob. I think that one there on the right be the further choke. But we'll just get the slide out. 
but that's somewhere safely. Because I think it's these two bolts will take the carb off. That's a little tiny slide out in the spring. So I'll go and put that somewhere safe. So we'll get the carb off. So I've got the carb off there. This dropped out some of the gasket. I don't know which way it goes, but I'll find out when I get the manual. I'm going to put the two bolts that come out of it in the back of the car. Now I'll take the choke lever off. That's the carb off now. I will be cleaning that. There's the choke cable. Just remember it runs up through there. Down through there and up there. And up under there. And up under there. Along there. Down. Down through there. That's where that goes up there. Then through round onto this side. Then up. Then up. Then up with the choke lever. I took the brake cable off as well. When you do it, just take that out of there. Because they drop out. Just put it on there and then put the nut back on. At least you know it's safe. So now. Carbs off. We'll go around and check the oil pump now because there'll be a pipe on there what needs nipped. So when I was looking at this before, I thought I was on the carb side, but I'm not. This is the oil pump. So where does that go? This is the overflow. But I'll have to check. See if there's a pipe that goes down there. This one I've looked. When I got it, you see, so you put petrol in the tank and two stroke in there. That's all blocked off. You won't get into there. So, so now we'll take that one and that one out. Just pull the sparky cap off. We'll take the top board up the shutter. I don't think there's anything keep. There's the stands. Right there, bolt it on there and there, but I think that'll just drop with the engine. If it's not on the frame, there's no frame underneath here, it's just here. So, we'll get these two out first, and that. So, that's the two supremes out on, on the top. They're hard to get out of, they impact off the frame. I just hope the supremes all right. This just needs push through. And that one, I was just looking, I've took that one out as well. So it should just drop now, as soon as I get that out. So we'll, we'll bang that out now. And that's that bolt out now. So the engine should pop out. So tomorrow I'll be taking the back wheel off, take the head and barrel off, wait till the manual comes to find out how to rate the crush basket off properly. I've got the frame there, I've just kept everything on it, so when I get the new frame, I can just swap everything straight over. It's much easier that way, rather than having wires hanging everywhere. At least I've got videos of where everything goes. Anyway, that that shouldn't be much 
There's nothing even wrong with the engine, it's just the frame. See it where it's pushed back there. So that's that bolt put back in, that long bolt put back in, and I've put the two bolts in the subframe. What's fitting at the top of here? Just in case when I get the next frame, it hasn't got them. But anyway, a day or two, I'll be tearing that engine down. So stay tuned if you want to watch the engine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. It's been painted white, the wheels, but underneath you can see the gold. And I'm having it gold. I don't know if you can see it there, you can see a bit gold. I'll put a picture up and you'll see what it'll be like gold. Because it should have red forks, I think, but it definitely should have a red frame. So it's been painted, painted at one point. But anyway, we'll get all that sorted. Strip the engine. Find out how many seals is in, how many bearings. Get them ordered. I've ordered the carb kit. I'm waiting for a message tomorrow on the frame. But the man says the frame of every year has fit them. I've ordered the Honda stickers for the side case. And which one there? I haven't ordered the front mud guard yet because it's 125 quid but I will be ordering that soon and then it doesn't need nothing else I'll be ordering a new throttle as I said before I think in this video with a proper switch on get rid of this one and get that two stroke sorted out alright thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video on it